It's early in the morning and I can't get right. Cause I have Good morning and welcome to Morning Coffee for a Monday. I'm Mark Turner. Jeff Vaughn is alongside and so is David Savage. Good morning. Good morning. morning. How hey, are you? I, I got to tell you, man, I never get tired of your opening intro music. What a great selection. Thank you. That is that is marvelous. Yeah, the yeah. opening is pretty good. Some of the some of the mid-show music is well, a little bit questionable every now you and know, again. I was I wanted you to know I've researched the internet and ZZ Top has a cover of that BB King song. So you might really? want to Switch it up a little I'll bit. I'll see if I can find that. Dang My on. life is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> a little snow overnight, a little, little rain, which froze. Oh, yeah. So it's a little slick. You and I both went almost went down That's in the parking right. lot this morning. Yeah. Welcome to WFID, <laughs> WFIW Wander Skateland. <laughs> yeah. I, I continue to called... contend. At 315, it was fine. I, I could have run track out there on that mm-hmm. parking lot. Dry as a bone. But, man, it's not now. No. It's not terrible. I mean, no. it's not, like, super dangerous. But Jeff, if you're not paying attention, it'll yeah. get you. Jeff Murphy, you need to be out there putting salt down, buddy. He was going a while ago. I think he was. I think he's on that already. Oh, was he? Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. All right. So, hey, he's, yeah. he's all about that service to others. Yes, he is. There you go. That's Deputy yes, Animal is. Control Officer Jeff Murphy. That's to, true. To you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What what would you would, would it be the D A C O? I mean the Daco. <laughs> I think you might be close to getting yourself into trouble if you start calling him by that, but I don't know. D A C O. Hey, you know. Hey Daco. Hey, keep that up, and he'll start wearing those mirrored sunglasses and walk in and go. <laughs> Respect my authority. <laughs> I understand that, right? I know you. And I, I knew. I cannot hey, believe. I knew you would. I if anyone got it, you'd get it. That that was that, that was just done. But by George, it was. Oh, that was great. Yeah. Was how, great. How, how, how well, my favorite, that was my favorite episode. Respect oh. that. I can. I cannot believe. I. Oh my gosh. Never in a million years would I have wow. guessed that David Savage would be the one making a. <laughs> A no, South Park no, reference. South Park. Uh, yeah. At 8, 10 in the morning. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Okay. I, uh, I watched over the weekend <laughs> a Charleston, uh, Char- Charlton Heston movie I mm-hmm. had never seen before. In- entitled? Number one. One. You know, I've seen most of his movies. I, it, I, he was, he was a, I'll tell you how, how far-fetched this was. Okay. Okay. He was quarterback for the New Orleans Saints. I have seen it. I have and they seen it. they had actually won the championship. Ah, uh, <laughs> now this was back in the seventies. Yeah, during the Archie Manning years, where they were bad. Oh yeah, they were bad, and not in a good way. No, no. It was. Uh, I mean, I had ne- I've never seen that movie before. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I so I sat out and watched it, and it was. It was okay. It, it was. It was not his best effort. <laughs> no, no, yeah. it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't Planet of the Apes, so no. you know, Soylent Green. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how in Planet of the Apes they got all the apes to act as well as they did. The, they were, tra- the trainers were amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's I think they stunning. They were. I think they won an Academy Award. For yeah, that. they should have you if know, they did. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. getting them to talk, fire guns, I know. horses, it's and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's incredible. Now, that's the the original. The, yeah. I, I I don't know anything about the. Didn't they remake the original, or was that just a continuation? No, of no, 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 it was they, a remake. It was a full remake. remake. Very poor. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't very good. And then they made Conquering the Planet of the Apes. Yeah, that's Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. I don't know. I wasn't they sure were, where that was on the timeline. They were all pretty bad. Yeah. All the remakes. Oh, you mean all the se- uh, the what, what that sequels? Yeah, sequels. Or were they sequels? Well, you remember Planet of the Apes come out with Charlton Heston, right? Then it came out. They sent a group to find him beneath the Planet of the Apes. Right. And that was uh, Tony Francio, San, Tony Francisco, or yeah. Anyway, I know who you're talking about. He comes to find uh, Taylor, and of course, you know they blow it up. And of course, then the third one, uh, Cornelius and his wife, uh-huh. and his expected wife, his pregnant wife, yeah, land in present day Earth. Was that number three? I that thought was that third was one. four. No, that was the third one. Okay, what was the fourth one? And the fourth one was his son, the baby. Caesar. Caesar. Yeah. Becomes, you know, takes over the world. Okay. So there you go. 
Okay. See, I, I had it mixed up, mixed around. I, I thought mm-hmm. the third was the one where they fought with the humans in yeah. the city. Yeah. No, that was that was the last one. That was, okay. that was number four. Okay. And then they went off into these spinoffs like Jeff's talking about. Tisk yeah. tisk. So the the second and third ones is it just Rise of the Planet of the or Planet of the Apes two, Planet of the Apes three, Planet of the Apes four? No, 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 no. They actually no. had titles. No, they did. It, okay. It, it, this was, wasn't it one was, of those Jason series. You yeah. Know? <laughs> it was Planet of the Apes. Sure. Then it was Return to the Planet of the Apes, right? No, no. The, sec- number the second one was was Beneath the Planet Beneath, of the okay. Yeah. That's the, the actual one. name of it, yeah. Beneath the Planet of the beneath Apes? Beneath the Planet oh. of the Apes. Okay. third one was Return, then, right? I believe that's correct. Okay, and what was the fourth one? Uh, humans, you're out of luck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, anyway. I can, I can. So what have you been up to? Oh, man, I'll tell you what. I've been enjoying... I mean, I mean, you're not fundraising anymore. I know, I know. You know I... Or have you moved on to something else? No. Shh. Just be quiet on that. I don't want that idea think, being spread. I think Ken Odie's coming out here on Wednesday. We could give him you some. You guys need to be quiet. <laughs> Ken, I, whatever favor I owed you from a past life, I've paid it off. <laughs> I, will, I will tell you this. You know, we're, we're still getting people calling up saying, listen, we missed out on that. Is there any way we can still help? And, you know, we've been, been getting some funds in with that. You know, we're trying to, like I said, save that money for you know, furnishings and, you know, pool tables and things like that. So, Where do yeah. we stand on the grant application? Well, it is submitted to the state of Illinois. All grants went in, and none were read. I found this out. None were read until January the 10th. That's when they started reading them. And we're supposed to know something by March, late March, early April. And I'm hoping that we get that. I've, I've told everybody I know, if you have any extra prayers laying around, please use them mm-hmm. that we are funded because we need to get this thing rolling. And what's the timetable well, once we get the grant? Okay, once we get the grant, we're talking about nine months. Okay. And, you know, I thought for a project, what we're wanting to do, nine months is pretty quick. That is awfully quick. I had to, I had to chuckle. I went and picked up your uh, your ball player friend yeah at at the airport and i was telling him all about this he goes man this is great when's it coming and i said well you know probably in december he goes oh thanks a lot because he's a, so- he's he's a sophomore, sophomore yeah, yeah. he's like yeah sorry yeah he's gonna be graduated by uh-huh. then very and by the way very nice young yes man. he is very yes he very is both cool. ronnie and finn my, okay. my uh, Finn, I don't know. Yeah, you've you've not met Finn. Finn no. is from Australia. Ronnie is from uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. That's that's what it was really surprised me when he said. And you know, some of the facts and things he was sharing with me. Yeah. You know, if if pe- if our listeners aren't aware of this, Frontier has a program where we, you know, kind of would would you call it mentoring or? I wouldn't what? call it. I what? I would call it maybe. Host family. Host maybe? family. Yeah. I, all right. I like. I that. mean, host family to an extent because. You can't, you know, you can't give them cash, and you, I mean, you, right? But you can take you can take them places, have take them, them to dinner, the house take for them dinner, out, you know, yeah, yeah, all sorts of stuff. Uh, but anyway, you know, you know, picked up Ronnie there, and it was that was the funniest experience. I'm out at the airport, and of course, I've never seen him before. I don't right. know what he looks like. Yeah, and and I thought, should I hold like a, one of those cardboard <laughs> Castro Castro? You know, but I was afraid if I did that, people around here might think I was a communist sympathizer. So, you know, I thought, no, I'll pass on that. So I'm like walking up going, um, hey, um, you know, some young guy standing there and go, are, are you running Castro just by chance? No, dude, I'm not. You know? and so, so I'm thinking, well, how do I do it? So finally, after the second person said, no, that's not me, because I'm standing at the luggage, you know, where all the luggage comes Yeah. Out. So finally, the third person walked up and I'm really loud. Hey, are you Ronnie Castro? Like that, and he's coming out of the restroom, and that goes, "Oh, that's me over here." <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that's so, the way to do it. There you go, baby. That's, it, the, that's the David Savage way. That's you, a smart way. I, I, you know, I'm really thinking that what we do now is we start having some uh, kind of classes on uh, airport etiquette, you know, yeah. and things. Mm-hmm. How do you find your unknown passenger? <laughs> you know, the last time I was in an airport. Mm-hmm. Um, we were waiting for somebody to, to leave out of St. Louis mm-hmm. without paying any attention. I was like, I got to go to the restroom. So off I went, took a left, turned right, and I went, sorry. Because <laughs> oh, I was Mark. in the women's. Well, you know, oh, hey, Mark. it wasn't marked very well. All right, hold on just a minute. Let me help you with this. 
You know the men's room is always on the left, correct? Yeah. And you know why? And I turn to left. And, and, well, you know why, don't you? Because women are always right. <laughs> oh, 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 you are digging yourself a hole, man. Yeah, I, I told to Donna you. not to listen this morning. Oh, so, okay, yeah. all right. Ba, 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 You said you turned left, but then you turned you right again. Rocking and a rolling, yeah. rocking and a reeling. I turned ball. left into the bathroom, and then he turned right, and then I turned right to go to the bathroom. That's it. He's looking at the two. Okay. He goes the, yeah. I thought you turned left through a, an opening, and then you're like two doors, and you chose the the door on the no. right. Okay, no, I no, understand. No, no, All right, I'm no, with no. it now. Okay. I was actually in the bathroom when I turned left. There we go. We'll diagram this play for you later. Okay? I'll, I'll need that. All can right. okay. can we? <laughs> Can we get it in pen? <laughs> right. Today is Blue Monday. Oh, yeah. I, you know. Yeah. It is Ditch New Year's Resolutions Day. It's January 2nd for me. Yeah, it's <laughs> national. Uh, that would be January 1st at 1, you know, 12.03 a.m. <laughs> it is National Hot Buttered Rum Day, Benjamin Franklin Day, mm. Brew Monday, Elementary School Teacher Day, it's National Bootleggers Day. And, <laughs> there you go. And of course, it's Na- it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Exactly. So it's National Ben Franklin Day on the same day as Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Yeah. Apparently you couldn't give so. him two different days. Nope. Okay. Nope. Could not. Tomorrow hey, does, was killed. Hey, does that mean hundred dollar bills for all of us today, or what? Um, yeah, as long as you're handing them out. I mean, know, can, I was thinking the station would take care of this. I'm, I'm Let's bring Jeff Murphy, Murphy in here. I think Murphy he can help us here. out with He's, that one. You know. 1927, Eartha Kitt was born. Hmm. What's going on, Jeff? You going to give us some money? He, he said no, no Ben Franklin's. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, that's I don't. I'll, I'm not picky. It doesn't have to be Ben Franklin. I'll yeah, think about true. anything you want. That's true. Eartha Kitt was born on this day, 1927. Uh-huh. Actress and singer who made her mark on many films and Broadway shows. Yes, she did. Hey, she was. Where do you? No, you're you're too much younger than me. You probably won't remember this. Do you remember when she was Catwoman? Yes, and Batman? yes, I do. Do you really? Yep. Late 1960s yep. on the original Batman television the show, TV she show? was the original Catwoman. No, was she not? Back off, buddy. Who was Ju- the original? Julie Newmar. Julie New. I thought Julie Newmar came after Eartha Kitt. No, 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 no. Okay, see, I learn something new every day. Not that I've seen any of them with not Julie Newmar. Yeah, had Eartha Kitt. And then there was Lee Merriweather. Yes, Lee Merriweather was Catwoman as well. Uh Is it Eartha like Earth with an A after it? Yeah. How about that? Yeah. (laughs) That's what what she did all the time. (laughs) Oh! Oh, that'll be She's Yzma. Perfect, Batman. She's what? She's Yzma from The Emperor's New Groove. That's who this woman is. Sure. Sure. Have you guys not seen The Emperor's New Uh, Groove? I have. I have grandchildren. I think I have. I've seen it. Thank you. You're missing out. That's the... That's my all-time favorite okay. Disney movie. Uh, she also was known for the song Santa Baby. Yes. Mm-hmm. She was a Catwoman. He's still over here yeah, researching. I know. He is. 1949, Andy Kaufman was born. That's right. Yeah. Popular comedian and actor. Many characters that he played, including the foreign guy. In Taxi. And Tony Clifton. He appeared on Saturday Night Live in The Late Show with David Letterman. Mm-hmm. He was a Latka. Latka? On, on taxi. taxi. Yeah. yeah. Known as a practical practical joker, many friends believe that Kaufman faked his own death in 1984, but most evidence points to the fact that he actually did pass away from a rare form of lung cancer. Mm-hmm. Do you remember when he, uh, I think it was Saturday Night Live, he did the... Put on the theme from Mighty Mouse and sang that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't know who uh, Andy Kaufman is, do you? I'm still trying to figure out if I've seen her as Catwoman, so I, I've oh, checked out. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he's, he's, he's still in the research uh, files over here. 1964, Michelle Obama was born in Chicago. Oh, yeah. The wife of former President Barack Obama. Mm-hmm. 1706, Benjamin Franklin was born. Oh, that would make sense. Okay. Yeah. 
That's the Benjamin Franklin day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. See, now, we'll see if you know this guy. Okay. 1882, Arnold Rothstein. Yes, the guy who got the uh, White Sox to become the Black Sox. Yes, that's it. American gangster and mobster. Mm-hmm. He fixed the 1919 World Series. Mm-hmm. Do you uh, Did you ever watch Boardwalk Empire? I have watched a on, couple of shows. On, well, at, at the later seasons, they had Rothstein in there as a character. Really? Yeah. Okay. 1899, Al Capone was born. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, and again, a public service message. Remember to file your taxes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. 1922, Betty White was born. Mm-hmm. Which, of course, she's left us now. Would have been 100 years old. Uh-huh. Or she, as my daughter told me, she said, you know, Dad, if you count in all the leap years that she lived, she would have been 100. That's true. There you go. She was the longest, had the longest TV career of a female entertainer. Wow. Now, here are some of the shows she was on. The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Oh, that's where I remember her from. Sue, she played Sue Ann Nivens, Sue Ann Nivens. on the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Ma- wait a minute. Man Hungry Sue Ann Nivens. That's <laughs> true. Uh, she played Rose on The Golden Girls. Uh-huh. She was in The Proposal. Uh, she was also in Lake Placid. Yes, yeah, she Remember fed, that she fed one? the giant alligator. She fed alligator. the crocodiles. Yeah. yeah. She was born in Oak Park, Illinois. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Hmm. 1928, Vidal Sassoon Mm -hmm. was born. British-American hairstylist and CEO of Vidal Sassoon. Mm -hmm. The hair care stuff. Sure. Probably is a thing. Probably is a thing. 1962, (laughs) Jim Carrey was born. Uh, Really? Mm Mm-hmm. Dumb and Dumber. The Mask. Mm-hmm. He was in um, great movie. He was in the uh, that TV show with the Wayans brothers. Mm-hmm. Living, uh, no, I can't even remember it now. Wasn't that where he got his star? Wayans brothers. Yeah, that's got to be. I don't. I, I don't think so. I any. think it, it is. Was, it was like a he comedy. surely wouldn't. Yeah, it was a comedy show. Uh huh. He 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 was the token. living color in living, living color. color. That yeah, was he it. was the token white guy. He yeah. was in living. He was in in living color. Yeah. Yes. Was like as a feature or just as no, a, he was later he's on. on. He right didn't right. start as a feature, but he progressed to one pretty quick. Maybe yeah. I, I haven't seen much of in living color. Okay, what, char- what characters have you seen in in living color? I don't remember. Not Jim Carrey. Did you ever see the firefighter? Man, you're talking to me like I've seen more than five episodes hey, of that in my life, hey, which I haven't. Was it, didn't they have somebody who was it was always fighting the man? Yeah. The clown? Uh, uh-huh. Homie, say, homie the Clown. Homie the Clown. Homie the Clown. That's going to be held down by the man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And in 1942, Cassius Clay was born, better known as Muhammad Ali. Where at? Louisville, Kentucky. There you go. Yeah. I have, uh, when I was growing up down there, we always used to go down to... Martin Luther King Boulevard, mm-hmm. um, because they they had big flea market along Martin Luther King right. Boulevard in the summertime. So, other celebrity birthdays today: James Earl Jones, mm-hmm. the voice, the actual voice of God. Darth's he... a funny way to say Darth Vader. Yeah, that's true. Darth Vader. He was uh, what, in what, Field of Dreams. Mm-hmm. What? Where? It's talking about the voice of God. What does he play? Does he play God in some movie? No, he does not. He's just got that deep, okay. deep voice. Okay. Maury Povich was born this day. <laughs> Steve Harvey, another funny guy. There you go. Uh, funny. Zoe Deschanel. Sure. I think she was in Elf. Yeah, she, she was, was a New Elf Girl as well. And New Girl, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. The sister of Emily Deschanel. Yeah, who was in Bones? She's in Bones. Yep. She was. Did doctor. she do anything besides Bones? Man, if she like, I feel like I saw her whenever Bones was in its heyday. She had some movies. That she just did didn't she? Go in yeah, there. she was kind of there, but never a real star. Okay. Um, which is really condescending of me to say now that I've said that out loud. You, so prob- I, you probably know who this person is. Kelly Marie Tran. Yeah, that's uh, Rose in Star Wars. See, I told you. I told you he'd know that. Now, Rose, it, Rose it, Tycho. Are we, are we talking those fake Star Wars movies now? No, not, they're not, they're quite real. The sequels. Oh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I, I have physical copies of them. I know. They're real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and YouTuber and boxer Jake Paul has a birthday today. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Boxer. 
Uh huh. Is that a loose term? Yes. Yeah. Uh, YouTuber, frankly, is also a loose term. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. On this date in history, 1991, the Gulf War began mm -hmm. in Iraq. 1949, the first Volkswagen Beetle rolled off the or uh, produced in the U.S. Uh -huh. arrived from Germany. So there you go. Uh, 1961, President Dwight D. Eisenhower delivered his farewell address in which he warned against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, for him to make that statement yeah, was, a, was pretty bold. How about yeah, that? it was. Uh -huh. 1984, the U.S. Supreme Court in Sony Corp. of America versus Universal City Studios ruled 5-4 that the use of home video cassette recorders to tape television programs for private viewing did not violate federal copyright laws. And it was that ruling that allowed me to watch Major League growing up on VHS. There you go. <laughs> and in 1929, Popeye the Sailor Man debuted in cartoon strips. Hey, do the song. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm strong to the finish, because I eat my spinach. spinach. I'm Popeye, Popeye the Sailor Man. Man. Doot, doot. There you go. <laughs> I, have, I have watched one or two of the old cartoons. He, he has I his, do not like them. He had his origins in Chester. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I remember you saying that, and that is another reason that I'm, and I'm happy we don't have to go to Chester anymore. <laughs> He's got the statue I'm not right there by the river. Mm -hmm. On the state musically in 1969, Led Zeppelin's debut album was released in the U.S. What was the name of it? Led mm. Zeppelin. <laughs> oh, that's right. I, okay. I was thinking Because it was Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Led Zeppelin 1. Led Zeppelin 2. <laughs> now, the album with uh, Stairway to Heaven, though, wasn't it? Uh, didn't it actually have a name? I think it did can't think of the name of it, but I, I think it is. Immigrant, maybe, or yeah, something. I don't know. Uh, 1981, Vince Neil joined Motley Crue. Mm. 2008, Gene Simmons was fired from the Celebrity Apprentice. Uh -huh. Glad that one made the cut. Yeah. <laughs> 2011, Don Kirshner died of heart failure in Boca. Okay, but... Helmet. Did you did you know that Don Kirshner was the ring announcer on Howdy Doody? No. Yes. Look it up. Oh, I, I'm not doubting you. I just I, I didn't know that. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, I could tell you immediately that I wasn't going to know well, whatever you were going to say. I'm surprised you not got your phone out researching I, I, it now. That so I no. Nah. Hey, but how many how many Friday nights did we stay up watching Don Kirshner's, Kirshner's rock, rock concert, concert yeah. on ABC? Uh huh. Zero. Okay. Okay. I'll answer that one. You Zero re nights. Remember the guy? Nope. On the uh, Saturday Night Live skit, More Cowbell? Sure. Okay. I, I know that skit, yes. The, you and I would know that. Yeah. <laughs> well, the um, I, I'm pretty sure that the the guy that always wanted More Cowbell Baby yeah. was based off. based off Don Kirshner. Oh, okay. It's like, if you say that was him, I, no, I, that was that was Christopher Walken. I'm familiar no, with no, his No, no, it was, it was his character based was based off, of, based off okay. Don Kirshner. Sure. Okay. I have a fever. I, and the only thing that can cure that fever is more cowbell. So you're telling me that Don Kirshner wore gold-plated diapers? <laughs> I don't think so. And made so. hit records. But he, I don't, yeah. he put his, he put he his only pants put his on leg one leg at a time. time. Yeah. The only difference is then, I made gold records. He, he makes gold records. Never question Bruce Dickinson. And the Eagles' Don Henley mm -hmm. is proof that even rock stars can get fired. Don Henley got fired? Yeah. Believe it or not. Now listen to this. Was it also from The Celebrity Apprentice? No. Phew, good. During a recent interview with Ultimate Classic Rock, Steely Dan's Gary Katz record, recalled how the band hired Don Henley to track vocals while recording uh, their 1977 album, Peg. Mm-hmm but eventually fired him because his contributions were no good. Oh, my God. I know! <laughs> While at first, Katz and Donald Fagan agreed that they both liked Henley singing. Right. Unfortunately, once they brought him in with Linda Ronstadt to record some vocals, the result was not what the band wanted. Okay. So they fired Don Henley! 
That would be like firing Paul McCartney, wouldn't it? Something yeah. Something like that. Now, hey, what was the tie between Linda Ronstadt and Don Henley? She dated Jackson Brown, who lived with Don Henley and Glenn Fry. And that's how the Eagles got their gig Because they were... They were the opening act for Linda Because both Henley and, and uh, Fry mm -hmm. played backup. We're in the band right. for Linda Ronstadt, right. right? And then she said, you guys are so good. You need to go on, go out on your own. own. Yeah. yeah. And they did. And they're still touring. Well, Glenn Fry isn't touring, no. but uh, the Eagles are touring mm -hmm. this, this summer. Farewell tour, isn't it? Again? Uh, I don't think it's the farewell tour. It's oh, they, the, they cut have, that have you heard what they're going to do now? What's that? It's they're gonna they're gonna replay or well, they're gonna they're gonna do every song from the Hotel California, California. album okay. with a choir and an orchestra. Oh, uh, uh, no, no. I don't know. No, I don't know. We'll see. If you're listening, Eagles. Here, David here, says no. Here, Dave, Dave here, Savage here's says one no. vote from Fairfield, Illinois, that says, uh, no. All right. So the Carnaby Square question of the day was. Life too short to tolerate what? what? Yeah. Oh, boy. We know you've got some answers. <laughs> uh -huh. We can tolerate an awful lot. We only have a Carnaby's winter sale event is in progress. All winter clothing, 25 to 50 percent off. Carnaby has a packed rack of half of half clothing too. Check out Brighton's new 2022 charm, free with qualified purchase. All Christmas clothing exchanges need to be made by January 22nd. Baby, it's cold outside. Carnaby's winter sale event will help warm you up. Carnaby Square, downtown Fairfield. Introducing Venture X, Capital One's new travel card for people always asking, Where next? You earn 10x miles on hotels and rental cars, and 5x miles on flights booked through Capital One Travel, and 2x miles on everything else you buy with Venture X. Plus, receive premium travel benefits like access to over 1,300 airport lounges. The Venture X card from Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. Have you ever wondered if you're on track for retirement, how much you will need, or when you will be able to retire? Hi, this is Lou Carl, Financial Advisor with F&B Asset Management. I'm here to help answer these difficult questions. Our comprehensive retirement planning services help you plan through the entire retirement process, from planning, education, and guidance to 401k rollovers and IRA transfers. We can help you plan today so you're able to enjoy your retirement when the time comes. Call 842-2109 or visit today. F&B Asset Management. Hurry into Mattress Firm's New Bed, New You sale. Right now, you can save up to $500 on our wide selection of top-selling brands. Plus, get a free adjustable base with qualifying Sealy purchase, up to a $4.99 value. Or shop hot buys and get up to 50% off, like Sealy Twin Mattresses starting at $224.99 or Sleepy's Twin Mattresses starting at $159.99. In stock for immediate delivery with a low price guarantee. Only at Mattress Firm. Restriction supply. See store for details. At Jackie's Hidden Treasures, you never know what you'll find. Pick up a certificate at the Big Deal store for incredible savings. There's always something new at Jackie's Hidden Treasures on the square in Sisney. Life is a series of moments. Big moments, small moments, moments you want to bottle up so they can last forever. At Edward Jones, we want you to make the most of all of them. Whether you're planning for the trip of a lifetime, retirement, or just need some everyday advice along the way. That's why an Edward Jones financial advisor like me works with you to build personalized strategies for today and tomorrow. Life is for living. Let's partner through all of it. I'm Edward Jones financial advisor, Abby Rivers. Call me at 842-4696. Edward Jones, member SIPC. Mules Basketball Monday on WFIW 104.9 and WFIWradio.com as FCHS takes on the Evansville Day School at the Carmi White County Tournament. Our broadcast 5.50 p.m. Monday with pregame information. Mules Basketball is brought to you by Fairfield Memorial Hospital, the Fairfield Banking Company, Rush Appliance and Furniture, F&B Fairfield National Bank, Vaughn Tire, Wayne White Propane, People's National Bank, Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler, the Fairfield Save-A-Lot, Christina Copeland Country Financial, and McDowell Kinsmo and Jessup. 
Looking for a rewarding career with a pension opportunity? Consider joining the Rides Mass Transit District Team. Rides is now offering a $500 sign-on bonus for new team members with driver openings in Grayville, Fairfield, and Mount Carmel. With Rides Mass Transit District, you'll be helping your neighbors arrive safely to non-emergency medical appointments, help deliver meals to seniors, and take people to work or on errands to spend dollars in the local economy. Visit RidesMTD.com and click on Careers for more information. Apply today. Hi, this is Bill Stevens with another Time Capsule Quiz. Which month and year was it when President Bush traveled to Japan for the funeral of Emperor Hirohito? Back home, cabinet nominee John Tower took the pledge. I hereby swear that if confirmed, your Secretary of Defense, I will not consume beverage alcohol of any type or form. CBS gave us Lonesome Dove and a 60 Minutes feature on Alar that started a national apple scare. Daryl Waltrip's Chevy roared to victory at the Daytona 500. Barbie became 30-something. And here's what the new music sounded like. I get lost in you. So baby, surrender to me. Those are the clues, the answer, and a taste of the top song from the month and year are coming up. We know that life is busy and managing a business or local farm operation can be stressful. At People's National Bank, we make banking easy. We offer business and agriculture solutions to help you manage your finances on the go, to help prevent fraud, and to increase efficiency in the way you do your banking. If we do our job right, we give you more time to focus on what matters most, your business and farm operation. Stop by or visit peoplesnationalbank.com and let us help you with all your banking needs. February 1989. Mike and the Mechanics with The Living Years, the top song of February 1989. This is Bill Stevens for tcapsule.com. Back soon with another time capsule. We're planning a trip to Spain later this year. But our Spanish is... It's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> when you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. Babbel's conversation-based method teaches you real-life words and phrases. And with Babbel's interactive bite-sized lessons, you'll remember what you learned. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? No matter your learning style or experience level, Babbel has lessons designed for you that will get you speaking quickly and confidently. I tried learning Spanish before, but I couldn't stick with it until I found Babbel. There's no easier way to learn another language. Ahora hablamos español. He just said, now we speak Spanish. I can't wait to use our new language skills on our upcoming adventures. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. Just go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Carnaby Square is the fashion leader in downtown Fairfield. Almost 42 years now for Christy and the gang down there. Carnaby Square question of the day was, life's too short to tolerate what, oh, Jeff Vaughn? shoot, I forgot to think about the answer to this. Uh, you, please, you, you go ahead. and I'll, I'll David? Uh, Ignorance. I like that. I was thinking stupidity is what I was no, thinking. No. Well, you know, ignorance is just you haven't learned. You yeah, haven't, that's you, true. You have not had the opportunity to learn. Stupidity is just stupid. Mm -hmm. But um, nothing? from the uh, Jeff side yet? Um, no, I, give me, I'm still trying to think of something here. He, right. He's super tolerant. I do, I do tolerate quite a bit. I complain about it, but I tolerate yes, an I awful know. lot yes, of it. Yes, Mike and Carol says life's too short to drink cheap liquor. There you go. <laughs> Susan says hate in your heart. I mm -hmm. like that answer. Did good. Su um, another Susan says energy suckers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shirley says, unprovoked rudeness and bad iced tea. Well, yeah, if you're going to have to tolerate rudeness, you need iced yeah. tea. Yeah.
Jesse says, religious nuts and people who chew with their mouths open. <laughs> Mark says, everything's being blamed on racism. When someone has no facts, they always fall back to racism. Mm -hmm. Clara says, pessimism and what is going on in the world right now. Listen, anything that doesn't make you happy. I like that one. And there you go. Very simple rule of life. You betcha. Patty says, negativity pertaining to anything. So there you go. I think I got one. Y you found one. I think you I found one something out, that right? I, 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 do not, I do not stand. And that would be generic chips. <laughs> I have had the knockoff brand Doritos in the past, and they just don't hit the same. And I, I'm not... Well, no. see, there are certain things in this world that you cannot buy generic. Mm -hmm. Then chips is is one of them, see, in my opinion. They're go. just they're never. No, I will not do it. Okay. There's I'll go hungry before I eat a generic Dorito. Okay. There's your kind specifically of Dorito question of the day. You have trivia for us, Martin Luther King Jr. trivia. Yes, I do. All right. Ten questions. Give us some questions. All right. Question. Oh, hey, Dana Bear sent this in. She said. <coughs> You can't be tolerant because lot. Hang on, man. I lost it here. It was and it was right here. Let me come back because this is good. We'll get Dana here. She said because life's too short for drama. Drama. I, yeah, I like Not that. a big fan of TNT. Then life's That's okay. too short for drama. Okay. Okay. Now uh, let's see here. Now trivia. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Pull it up and. First question, when was Dr. Martin Luther King born? All right. Now, we know it's January 15th, but yeah. what year? Okay. Okay. Question number two, where was Dr. Martin Luther King born? In what city? Okay. Number three, which college did Dr. Martin Luther King attend? Number four, which seminary? Now, not college, but after the college, seminary. he went to yeah. seminary. Which seminary did Dr. Martin Luther King attend? Okay. Number five, kind of related, but a different person. Who was arrested on the 1st of December, 1955, for defying bus segregation? I think I know that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Number six. When did Dr. Martin Luther King visit India? What year? Okay. Number seven. Where did Dr. Martin Luther King become co-pastor? What was the name of the church? He co-pastored a church. Uh -huh. Which church was it? Number eight. Where did Dr. Martin Luther King make his famous I Have a Dream speech on August 28th of 1963? Okay. Number nine. Which act was signed at the White House on July 2nd, 1964? A famous act. Okay. Which one was it? And number 10, when did Dr. Martin Luther King win the Nobel Prize? Or when did he get the Nobel Prize? Yeah. Okay. I don't know that I'm going to do very well. No, sure not. Those are tough. I didn't realize you liked me that way, deal. Because it's one thing to receive McDonald's, but an entirely other thing to know that they woke up early to face the world and bring you McDonald's breakfast still hot in the bag. Appreciate you. There's a deal for every act of service at McDonald's. Get a sausage McMuffin with egg, hash browns, and a small hot coffee for just $5. Price of participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer. ba da ba ba, -ba. We believe in patriotism. We believe in our nation's youth. We believe veterans earn their benefits through their service to our nation. We believe in a strong national security. We believe in our country. For 100 years, veterans have been impacting our nation through the American Legion, and we believe it makes a difference. If you believe, learn more at legion.org slash we believe. 
Greenwood Pest Control is still protecting your family and property during this crisis. Outside treatments to keep school of termites and ants away, plus other structural invaders. Also inside treatments for ants, roaches, bed bugs, and fleas. While you are away, call Greenwood Pest Control at 662-3091 for the service you deserve. That is 662-3091 Greenwood Pest Control. Hamilton Memorial Family Clinics are here for you now during COVID-19 like we've always been at our clinics in McLeansboro and Carmi. And now through our virtual care clinic, have a live video chat with your local provider, ask questions, get a diagnosis, and even get medication prescribed while using your computer, tablet, or smartphone. Also available for behavioral health needs and physical and occupational therapies. Visit hmhospital.org or simply call either of the Hamilton Memorial Clinic locations. Sheldon Bunning from LeMond Chevrolet Chrysler is back in the house. Good morning. What's going on? Good morning, Mark. I'm glad to be back among the living. <laughs> so all this snow and ice that we got over the weekend, I'm sure yes. you've got a vehicle that can traverse those conditions. Oh my gosh. We do. We do. I'm sure we do. We've got Jeeps, so I know they'll, you're, you're fine with the Jeeps. All so. right. So speaking of Jeeps, you've got some great deals on the Jeeps right now. Well, I'd hope so. You know, I've been going for weeks. So I really don't know what we have. Well, did did that Jeep Grand Wagoneer arrive yet? No, it has not. I think they're just teasing me with it. Actually, they're they're sending you a message. It's coming. It's coming. Right. It shows it's in transit, but it showed for like two months that. So, <laughs> well, it's it's take it's taken the cross country trip, right? It, it may be that or it's a a tour of a uh, lower Scandinavia or something on the way in. I don't know. It's going to be like. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be like the big load, right? Well, maybe so. Maybe they'll bring it in on the truck and we can have like a parade and whatnot. And, well, I, uh, I like that. I like that idea. Yeah. So, used vehicles. Uh, you've got a few used vehicles, but if, you, if you're looking to sell a used vehicle, you guys are buying. That is correct. That is correct. Give us a holler, bring it live, we'll make you an offer on it. All right. All right. Sheldon, as always, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. We will talk to you on Thursday. All right, you guys have a great week. All right, thank you. Time for Radar Weather. It's brought to you this morning by the Conard Financial Group. Does your financial future depend on the performance of a single investment? In any type of market, allocating your investments among a variety of assets may help minimize risk. I understand the importance of asset allocation and can design a diversified portfolio based on your risk profile to help you attain your goals. For details, call me, Chris Conard, at 842-7855. That's 842-7855. Raymond James Financial Services, Inc., member FINRA, SIPC. Life well planned. Your classic hits Fairfield area weather forecast. Cloudy skies today, high 36. Partly cloudy tonight, low 24. For tomorrow, mostly sunny, high 47. 20% chance of morning rain on Wednesday with a high 41. And then things get cool for Thursday and Friday. Mostly sunny skies, the highs each day in the low to mid-20s. Overnight low was 25. Yesterday's high 33. Right now, humidity at 81%. Winds are out of the northwest at 10 miles an hour, and the pressure is at 29.95. Cloudy skies and 30 right now at the WFIW studios east of Fairfield. The wind chill is at 20, and radar showing nothing but cloud cover over southeastern Illinois. Radar weather brought to you this morning by the Conard Financial Group. Okay, give us some... MLK Junior Trivia. Okay, here we go. i got to let the werewolf get out of the room. All right. Okay. Number one, question was, what year was Dr. Martin Luther King born? Was it 37? 29. Bingo. 29. All right. Question number two, Jeff Vaughn on a roll. Where was Dr. King born? In what city? Was it Montgomery, Alabama? No, it was Atlanta, wasn't it? Atlanta is correct. Look at this! Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, no. it's going to go downhill quickly. Are you, are you going to go double or nothing now on this one? You, I don't know what's the next question. Question. Oh, you got you got to say double or nothing before you hear the question. Okay. Got to double what do down I get? on it. What do I get if I double down? 
Well, you're going to get twice as much as what you already have. Oh, that's true. So there you go. You'll get to hear twice as well, much ZZ Top. I've got nothing, so I'm you still You'll get nothing. to hear All twice right. as much ZZ Top. All right. Which college did Dr. King attend? I famous, do think. A I, famous uh, it's an HBCU, college. It? What do you think? It's an HBCU, isn't it? A historically black yeah. college yeah. university. Uh, wasn't it's, it Moorhead? Uh, it's in Atlanta. He's awfully close. Not more head, but more. More house. More house. More house. Ah, shoot. More house. You, you phoned a friend and yeah. you're still on a roll. More heads in Kentucky. Yeah. Well, I knew it's. I like that's why it, I knew it was something that was super familiar. More house. Shoot. Okay. Now this one. This is for just the truly know it all. On this, which Probably. seminary did Dr. King attend? I have no idea. Mm-mm. The Crozer. Theological Seminary. I believe that's in New York. Crozer. C R O Z E R. Crozer. Never heard of it. Yep. Crozer Theological Seminary. Yep. I, right. I, I'll go back to a little bit easier one on you guys this time. Who was arrested in 1955 for, devi- for defying bus segregation? Rosa Parks. There Rosa you go. I knew. I, I give yeah. you guys one. You yeah. know, make sure. Yeah. You, Thank you. Then what you shout out? I what? Well, excuse me, what year did Dr. King visit India? Was it 57 or 59, wasn't it? I do not know. What What year did you say, Mark? 57 or 59? 58. 59 is correct. 59, 59 okay. 59 nice. is correct. That is correct. Um, number seven. Where did Dr. King be, Where did Dr. King become co-pastor? I believe it was with his dad. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, I don't know. I gave you I gave you a clue on this one. The name involves a Charles Dickens character. Ebenezer something. Ebenezer Baptist Church. There it is, Ebenezer Baptist Church. Nice. Boom! You guys are nice. you guys are doing a lot better than you thought. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Teamwork. It's teamwork. Yeah. Yeah, 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 right. Number eight. Where did Dr. King make his famous "I Have a Dream" speech in 1963? Was that on the uh, in Washington? Or, Washington? I'm sorry. Is it the it Lincoln was Memorial? Lincoln what Memorial, not? Washington D.C. You uh-huh. both right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Question nine. Which act was signed in July 1964? Was it the Voting Rights Act? Not the the Civil Rights, Rights Act? Civil, Civil Rights, Rights Act. Act. Okay. There you go. Civil Rights Act. never know Act. if that has a different name and it's just called the Civil Rights Act. Or, well, or... voting came from that. Well, yeah. Yeah. but I mean, I didn't know if there was some trick question like, oh, well, we call it the Civil Rights Act, but actually it's House Bill 38,109. No, no, okay, no, okay. no, Jeff, I wouldn't do that I appreciate that. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> and a final question. In what year did Dr. King win the Nobel Prize? That was 62, wasn't it? So hang on a second. He died in, what, 68? 68. Right, because he was 39? Mm-hmm. Um, when did you say he went to India? 59? 59. It's 64. Right on the money. Yeah. 1964. Now, after, after you had, I said 62, but then I was like, 64, because that's when he made I Have a Dream speech. Uh-huh. Yeah, so. Well, you know, like I said, you know, they very involved in the Civil Rights Act, and once that was mm-hmm. signed, you know, he was given credit for his assistance in that and all these other things. So, yeah, he was the uh, Nobel Prize winner. Now, uh, you know, I was going to tell you, you noticed I was a few minutes late coming out this morning. Yeah. And it was not the ice. I blame the ice, but that wasn't it. When I was coming down the blacktop, I saw a farmer standing right right there by himself out on his ground and i thought my gosh this guy looks despondent maybe i should check on him so i pulled over limped out there and got to him i said you know hey what are you doing he says well i'm out here trying to win a nobel prize i said a nobel prize he goes yeah i heard they give those to guys outstanding in their field but uh you know i had to explain that wasn't how it worked oh oh Darn it. I was really invested in the story in the first time. <laughs> Don't forget to Shouldn't tip your been. waitresses. <laughs> I'll be here through Thursday. <laughs> Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.
Hey, Alexa, play WFIW. It's time for classic hits from WFIW. It's what you've been looking for. WFIW FM Fairfield, Illinois, and WFIW Radio.com, the news leader in southeastern Illinois. Time now for the news. Brought to you by Boyd Furniture and Mattress Center. They have a large selection of power sofas, love seats, and recliners. Ask about free financing. News. I'm Lillian Wu. Two teenagers have been arrested in Britain in connection with the hostage situation this weekend at a synagogue in Texas. The gunman took over the Congregation Beth Israel Synagogue during the Saturday service.